Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just turned it down. in the other stream. It's E-Facey, y'all. <laughs> Look at my pug. Eugenia, I love you. Look at my pug. I was trying to get you to look at her all night. It's Jigglypuff. Oh, I love her. We have so many dogs. We're crazy. <laughs> Yay, Pug Gang! Guys, we have so many dogs, you guys. <laughs> I'm dead. Come here, Tree Tree. She won't come up here. So much love to you guys. Are you guys gonna hang out? Come here, Tree Tree. Come here. We have so many littles, you guys. They don't like each other, though. They're jealous. Thanks for coming to watch Ocarina of Time. We're streaming this until the new Zelda comes out. Pug love. All about Chihuahua. I have Moon too. Come on, Moon. Come on. Chihuahua. Moon's gonna come up. They're crazy. What's up, pod jamming? Yay! I'm so happy. Come on, come on. Two Chinese crusted. Are those like little potato dogs that have no fur? What's up, pod jamming? Is that like Pima in Pennsylvania? Are you the one that was from Pennsylvania? So cute, guys. Right? She's only five months old. Pennsylvania, I'm a <laughs> That's funny. We're originally from. Oh my gosh! <laughs> she attacked the bugs. Eugenia, I freaking love you. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're watching. I was stalking you all night in hopes you would watch us play Ocarina of Time. A pug and a chi. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have. There's a haboob coming. You guys learned that word tonight. 
Aww. So nice. My name on the game is Babymon. <laughs> hey! Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> My husband's here with me, but he doesn't like being on camera. He thinks it's just for me and the doggies. You played the song of time. I'm also the one that brought up LimeWire. <laughs> so many good topics came up tonight. Haboos, LimeWires, Pug Life. Now baby man. Thanks for the follow, you guys. If you go to the carpet, you can learn to sell this lullaby. Oh my god, the LimeWire day. <laughs> for real. LimeWire and like AOL Instant Messenger, like waiting to get off of school so you can log on and put like a like a cool song lyric as your away message. <laughs> Something real deep. Oh. You're so sweet. <laughs> yo. We're obsessed with it too. American Dad and like King of the Hill is all we watch. Oh, sorry, baby. It's hot AF here, you guys. We're in Phoenix. It was like a hundred and some degrees today. My dogs are everything, you guys. Like, life. Should I tell them how many? <sighs> you guys, I don't want to tell you how many. Look at this little baby. This little baby is our seventh dog. <laughs> I have 20 dogs, six cats, and a bird, somebody just said. Okay, whatever. I have seven dogs. I ain't embarrassed to say it anymore. <laughs> so... I know, I know. Your life a dream, TVH. See, that's what I'm always telling my husband. He doesn't always think so, I think. But um, I don't know how we ended up with seven dogs, you guys. It just happened. Yes, all the puppy love. But we have two that are like, every, all of them are old. Every one of them is like old or like a rescue. Um, or one, he has like seizures all the time. <laughs> He was born with a neuro near. I said it like it was a joke, but it's not a joke. Baby mom, isn't that? Dog showing. That sounds serious. It's the legendary thing. <gasps> Is that the legendary, the master sword? You guys are so awesome for coming to watch. It's not really even that late where I'm at, so I'm happy. I love that you genius and everyone our way. So awesome. Ah! We're on Twitch. We're also on YouTube. Erin in Wonderland on YouTube. We have a lot of like older streams that we've done. the keys to the door of time. <laughs> That's exactly. Ew. I hate him. No cats. I have two more than the room. Let's see if there's cameras around. Two is enough. I'm adding her in with the bunch. That's really funny. Boobamon, wake up! Boobamon, the chosen one. Saints are like, yeah. We have 
four littles and three bigs. And one of the bigs is like, he's on hospice, I'd say. <laughs> you guys know what hospice is. I hope you're still watching, Eugenia. Don't focus on the haters. I heard you talking all about haters and stuff, but, like, people are always going to hate. And a hate watch is still a hate. It's still a hate. <laughs> a hate watch is still a watch. That's what I always say. Hold your tired show dogs. Oh, Pugly Wuggly, she's literally a puppy. She's like four months old. Yeah, it's hard though, especially when you're in the spotlight. Because like our YouTube channel is not even that big. I think we have like 2,000 followers. And sometimes I'll get uh, something like, like literally I had one that was like, you're terrible at telling stories and I hate your hair or something. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, who has time in their day just to say that? Like, they must be, like, the saddest type of person. Just so sad in their dark basement. Yeah, thanks for the revenue. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for hating me, brah. <laughs> I'm laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> okay, who's this old guy? I kind of, like, lost it. Oh, you're so sweet. Honestly. Some people don't have better things to do. They just want to, like, profit off of other people's success. And that's all they're really doing. Is my head in the way? Should I move more this way? I felt like I had to move so that moon would come up, but... okay we kind of just like laughed it off because I was like whatever I thought my hair looked good that day <laughs> even now it did look good that day there's like so many times too where I'm like way harsher on myself I'm like oh god I look terrible and then I'll see like a photo and I'll be like okay wow we're in someplace important but I'll see like a photo of myself from like a long time ago where I felt like ugly or like fat or something and I'll be like, geez, I looked great. What the hell was I thinking? Hi, Pimo. Do you guys want to see my Shih Tzu? Did I show Pimo yet? He's, this is the Shih Tzu. He has seizures, but he's very, uh, he's very low impact. That's how I refer to him. He doesn't like to do much, but he takes phenobarbital twice a day, which is a human drug. I have to show my ID to get it. <laughs> Raccoon scumbag. Thanks for following. Dirty scumbag eating out the garbage. Raru? His name's Raru? Isn't this like a... Chuckle dogs. They just climb all over me. I could chuckle dogs. I really truly could chuckle dogs. Alright, let's get ready, y'all. Getting turned on the barbiturates. He really is. That's what I went to Starbucks the other day and I had like all the littles with me. And the people were laughing. They were like, oh look at all your dogs. And then Prismo was just sleeping in the back. And the guy was like, oh, dang, he's falling out. Like, he said something, like, real crazy. Like, he was basically, like, ODing in the back. <laughs> but, yeah. It's funny because it makes him, like, super normal. Like, a lot of dogs and a lot of people are like, oh, it makes my dog so tired. But, like, him, it makes him, like, really normal and, like, want to play with the other dogs. Really good, actually. Baby man, we're back in the temple of time, but I've seven usually past man. Oh, isn't that how life goes? You like, makes mine normal too. Oh, that's good. Were you born in 89? He's getting turned. 
turn off the barbiturates. That's funny. I keep getting so distracted. I want to play the game, but I want to, like, read everything you guys are saying, too. We never have too many people on the stream. We have, like, a few people. He doesn't get it. He's off the chain bark and irritable. <laughs> He's probably addicted to it at this point. He just needs it to feel normal. I've been waiting on you, hero of time. When evil rules all. <laughs> and awakening voice from sacred realm. <laughs> we'll call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in the deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One with a massive dome. Oh, was that all of the little, like, spots? Wow. Zelda's so deep. I never played Zelda as a kid, you guys. So, like, all the times of me playing it now is, like, the first time. I was real into, like, Sonic and, like, Crash Bandicoot. And I had brothers, so I played, like, shooter games and shit. Get her. just decided on Jigglypuff. Oh, I liked, well, I don't know, because I wasn't really like Nintendo. A lot of T channels. Yeah, it's true. There was like a point in time where I was like, dude, I would love just to talk about like, like, I almost said trash TV, but I don't know if that's a fact, like reality TV. I was like, I would love to just do a channel about like reality TV or like true crime or something, but like everything feels like real exploit, exploitive, exploited exploitative I don't know so it's like hard to find like a niche and like what you want to do so we were thinking of doing like local like unsolved stuff just to get attention to it what do you guys think Jigglypuff he named her Jigglypuff all right here we go horrifying death like growl yes jigglypuff i love it they were calling her peggy and it reminded me of king of the hill and also my husband's aunt's name i'm peggy pull my leggy so much has changed in seven years i've grown remember we were just talking about that like from age like 18 to like mid 20s, you like change so much. Jiggly pop. Pie, whatever, pie, my tumin. <laughs> How do we get the hook shot? Somebody help us. We're sick of these two guys trying to get pine cones or whatever the fuck they're doing. <laughs> my head's in front of the map. It's just a big mess. Can I like read the signs? Like on the wall? I think. Pff, a fly just landed on my forehead. <laughs> Did you see that? Ah! <laughs> Let's see the bug thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I literally thought the bug thing was so like endearing and like sweet when your mom came in. And like, fuck everyone who was like, oh, you need to call your mommy. Like, I would call my fucking mommy too. Mom, help. I don't want this bug around me. If your mom wasn't, uh, like 12 million miles away. She didn't live in Transylvania where all the vampires are. And then, like, a bug landed on you randomly, so you were all jittery, you know? Like, I would be the same way. And East Coast bugs, they, they don't mess. It's so grassy there. 
Loser on L. Yeah. Dude, I would have been calling the exterminator. I'd have been like, Grandpa! <laughs> on the lime thing? Okay. But you're gonna need to go back, right? Oh, okay. What about L? <laughs> Bug attack. That was literally, because I've honestly never really caught any of your live streams. I always see them like after the fact. And so that was like, I don't know. I feel like it was the most entertaining. I feel like everyone was giving you shit for not playing a game or whatever, but like, it's funny. Booga! Do I dab on this channel? Like, what type of dab are we talking about? <laughs> Tonight was eventful. Yeah, I usually watch like your YouTube channel and stuff. <sighs> but um, I just recently got into um, Twitch. I hope you find that bug. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I'm just not going to get it. I think my dogs can die. Like, whenever people go, like, when little kids do that. I, I literally work with children, you guys, with my day job, and that's all little kids do is, like, yeah, where they do, like, the little, like, Fortnite dance as fast as you can imagine. But a lot of them are over Fortnite and they're watching um, or they're playing Among Us. So all of you adults out there that are playing Among Us, you're playing against like five-year-olds. Because like every five-year-old kid that I see is like telling me about, I drew a family of Among Us characters. Yeah, I worked today with one of the kids. And then he made like a whole story about it. Yeah, dude, the, the kids, they go all out for that. I used to work in a school, like, right when Fortnite got, like, popular. And so all the kids would do, like, the, the like, FU dance where they, like, they go, like, back and forth and, like, hold their crotch and make, like, devil horns. <laughs> I don't know if that's really, like, what they do, but me as, like, an old lady, I was like, oh, Lord, what are these children doing? <laughs> hot in here. Those lights make it hot in here. Is the AC on? Did it break? I am not going to show you. <laughs> I'll look it up on like YouTube and show you or something. The stupid dance that all little kids would do. Yeah. No! It was so bad. Look, here goes one of my big dogs. Stealing the show. This is Moon. Look at the, look at everybody, Moon, say hi. Come here, you wanna come up? Moon's afraid of all the little dogs. <laughs> yo, yo, you play Fortnite? The one kid, there's one kid that I see, he's like twin, there's twins, and they're five, and they're real shy, so, so I heard the one kid talking about uh, Among Us the one day, and I was like, oh, you're looking a little sus. And the way he looked at me was like, I had just said like, a secret code that nobody else knew. Yeah, like I infiltrated the secret. How do you, what? I did an Easter egg hunt with them today. It was totally inadvertent because I had like eggs that came apart and then they matched like color and shape. And this, oh, you use this like, yeah, and this kids like loved them, but they, they were like, we're going to hide them and then we're going to find them. And they're like, close your eyes. And I'm like, oh my God, these kids are going to fucking like hide these eggs in their house. Like I'm never going to find these eggs again. And then I made rules like they could only hide them in a certain place and we lost them like forever. But 
took a good part of the two hour session to find those eggs. It's okay to talk about the hump. <laughs> mullet do you see like the back of my hair i know it's so bad i want to like put this in like a weird ponytail you guys i shaved my head last summer and like it's been growing out and it's just like so many awkward stages right now i have it dyed like half black half white which i really like i need a drink Did you Google it? No, I, I remember. Oh. Yeah, so I feel like I have to pee. I don't know how like, everyone goes so long without peeing. It's hey. impressive. <laughs> it's like a skill. Oh yeah, are you guys gonna follow me? Cause I've gotta have a neutral grain bar and a mountain dew! <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone just did! on a neutral grain bar and mountain There's actually iced tea in a mountain dew container. Cause we're that wide. You pajamin, pamatumin. And I gotta have a neutral grand bar on a mountain. Oh, Aw, thanks for the follow, Pumpkin Shay33. I'm waiting for my husband to come back and help me because I'm not good at this game all alone. <laughs> Cynthia is dead is now following on the neutral grain bar and mountain dew. A neutral grain bar and a mountain dew. I know. We just got a new light set up, so it's like super, super bright in here. Like the angel is now following. Thank you. Thanks, Cynthia's dead. I imagine you're extra relaxed. <laughs> Two. Oh, yeah. What that mouth do, Link? Giveaways. Are we gonna do the big giveaway we've been talking about? 
so last year I once knew a guitarist who had was a fire and then two fingers melted together so all we would do was I had like a nasty old man do that in my face once very recently but um what were we talking about yeah I gotta sit up hold on Ugh. I'm like falling I, I washed the sheets to my couch cushions so they're like all lumpy and weird now. Oh yeah, you guys. Should we stop for a sec? Yeah. So we gave away get yourself a finger that's skilled with this night. So last year during like the pandemic and everything was like out of stock places. Nothing was out of stock in Phoenix because we live in a big town. So um, we gave away two switch lights. Uh, one to Josh Hollins. He's not here on Twitch. He's on YouTube. He's our number one fan on YouTube. And it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Josh Hollins. But now, should we stop for a sec? Now, um, today, I'm announcing. Jeez, it's so heavy. Ah! I'm going to make an official YouTube video about it. Ugh. We're going to be giving away a PS5 on the YouTube channel. So if you guys go subscribe to... I just got this today. Yeah. I want to like open it and show you it's real. Yeah, we're going to give away a PS5 on the YouTube channel. So if you guys go subscribe and like and comment and follow here and tell your friends. Um, then you could win a PS5 potentially. Because, like, who can get a PS5 right now? My husband had to order it from Target at, like, 4 in the morning. <sighs> yeah, we don't scalp. We just give away, baby. And that's what we did with our Switches. We had a lot of Switches that we were just, like, finding randomly. Um... We gave a lot away, and then I sold a coral one, but for even less than it was worth, so. Yeah, and that was my personal Switch. I also had a yellow one for a point of time. That was my personal Switch. Are you a good boy? How do I get that for Eugenia? Eugenia is so freaking nice, dude. Does Eugenia need a PS5? Enter our contest, girl! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe we could do a collab or something. For real. Oh, yeah, I know. He wants to come on the couch, but there's no room for him because one, two, three, four, five dogs are on here. I hate these weird little elves. They just make me uncomfortable. Like, I feel like they all have, like, crabs or something. <laughs> to a family member. Hmm. That is nice. Wouldn't let happen to me, though. <laughs> no, that's super nice. I don't know about Eugenia, but I need one. I feel like Eugenia is down with PC games. We do a lot of just PC gaming. We use emulators. Um, and the PS5 is not even that like enticing to us because like we're not gonna play Call of Duty on it or like. Yeah. What does husband do while you stream? He just LOLs and encourages. Keep your eye open. Which eye? <laughs> oh, keep your eye open. <laughs> yeah, my husband just hangs. So we'll take turns streaming usually too. Keep your eye open and watch for emerging threats. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna I'm gonna heed your warning, Von Von Bifrost. <laughs> Hi, Moon. Do you wanna come up? There's no room for 
are you? You're too big. Yeah, it's definitely a monster here. I'm gonna move this one by. I almost called Juanita Eugenia. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh, but your life has to be for you to grow, boy. Come on. Get up here now. Go. What's the pattern here, you guys? Because we are lost. Wonderland. Like Alice in Wonderland, but Aaron in Wonderland. Yeah. Put the thing on him. Maybe if I move this pillow, I'll get up. Here, wait. Watch out. Let me move this pillow. Up. Oh, my health. My fell! <laughs> Melted into the pillow spot. Come on, get up. Go! Lay down! There's room for you! Come on! You're such a big baby. <laughs> right? Oh, they're scary, dude. And they like run at you. We played a VR game once. Um, what was that system we had? Like we had like an o we didn't have an Oculus. Yeah, we had an HTC Vive. And, uh, I'm serious, listen. But uh, we had an oh, because I said it. We had an HTC Vive. Here, wait, hold on, I'm gonna put these on the moon. This is his You guys hear me now? I don't know. Is it dead? Can you hear me now? Oh no, my braid came out. Oh no. Look at Moon's nose, it's like not in the screen. <laughs> Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Your dog's a bad streamer. Your dog's a bad streamer. He's shy. He does like he gets just camera shy. Like you're making him self-conscious. This is the hate Eugenia was talking about. We don't stand for this, Moon. It's okay. You're a good streamer. Oh, he just left the frame. Bullying. Uh, he's 
the best streamer? <laughs> uh, he's the best streamer. Yeah, yeah, you hear that? They said you're the best. Oh, look, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's not happy about it. Look, have a kiss. They're sorry. They didn't mean it. <laughs> See what you did. It's okay. He'll get over it. He'll eat some garbage tonight and be done with it. Yeah. Wow, we're really doing something here, huh? Jam session. Yeah, <laughs> like random jam session in the woods. Why can't I find friends like this? Thank you, Mon. I'll see you again, Mon. Next time. Look at that outfit. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> Forest Temple. This one's almost as bad. Who was from Idaho? Someone said they were from Idaho, and I was like, where the fuck is Idaho? <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't know, like, like, there are some states where I'm just like, I have no idea, like, Idaho, Minnesota, like the... Okay, and that's next to Indiana, so that helps me, which, yeah, okay. I'm, like, familiar with that area, because I grew up in Transylvania. Between Washington State and Oregon. Washington State is at the top left corner, and then Oregon's to the right. <laughs> Idaho, no Utah! <laughs> that was like the sixth grade comeback while everyone was sucking on gel pens. Did that only happen in my school? And like all the weirdos would like eat gel pens. I don't know, dude. And then there was like this weird cult that formed in like sixth grade where everyone was convinced, which I'm sure it's true, but everyone was convinced that the school was built on like a ancient Indian burial ground. And like everyone got like super goth. Yeah, I was goth, but I wasn't, like, involved. I was still in my, like, Spice Girl phase, you know? I had, like, the double buns. And, like, I wore, like, the velour suits. Oh, yeah. Dude, I had, like, a baby blue velour suit that was my everything. And then I had, like, shh. Like, yeah, that were, like, basically, like, cherry cloth. You know? No, I I, I can imagine or, or, or whatever it's called now. I don't know. The potato place. Um, cause then Oregon and Washington are split between the landmass of Idaho, what is what I was trying to say, but instead you said it's between Washington State and Oregon, basically. Who's your favorite Spice Girl? Okay, so like 13 year old me would say Baby Spice obviously because she was like the cute little one but growing up me would say posh spice <laughs> chris said 13 year old me would say the same thing but growing up me says posh spice and i think grown up chris says posh spice too so let's bend it like beckham baby <laughs> good choice i don't know there was something about the redheaded one that i didn't trust you guys gonna follow me? Follow me. No, these guys are all following. Pima Tuming and, you know, Stone yeah. LeBlanc, Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> yeah, are you from Friends? Oh, thanks to you and people like Henry Winkler. <laughs> I'm dead. Um, I'm going to Utah in like a week to, Sa to Salt Lake City. We're just going to go to Antelope. Me and one of my friends from 
Transylvania <laughs> is gonna go to um, Antelope Island and just kind of sightsee and stuff. Thanks to you and people like Henry Winkler. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of popular with celebrities, ranch like that was just a little less interesting. Idaho. The only thing I know about Idaho is that guy, like the, the like Lori Vallow lady. Oh, Carol King. Oh, no. Is that like, oh, midnight train to Georgia? She's like such a beautiful singer. You know a lot of uh, Idaho. Wow, John Redcorn, you're really up to date on your cannibalism. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't. I like manual labor is not my thing. It is just not. Like I grew up with all brothers, so they just kind of like do stuff for me. And then I married Chris, and he's like has like all females in his family, and he's like lift this heavy thing, and I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't do that. What do I look like a fucking pack mule? <laughs> Do you guys ever see that episode of King of the Hill where Peggy goes back to her like hometown Peggy, pull my leggy. Peggy goes back to her hometown farm in Montana and it turns out that like her family had to sell the farm because like Henry Winkler moved in next door and like wouldn't let them like use his land to like herd their cattle. John Redcorn, yeah. But like it's really funny because in the episode you don't really know what's going on with Henry Winkler yet, and um, Peggy's mom says to her like, "We're losing the farm, and it's all thanks to people like you and Henry Winkler." And like it's just so random and like out of context. It, I don't know. It's just so funny. Go back and like watch uh, the Pastor Son of Dale. <laughs> I know, I know. It's so horrible. Here, wait, I have to fix my glasses. Like, literally so terrible that that's, like, a main thing of the show. But it's so true. Like, it's like a home, like a, if you stay in, like, your hometown, there's always, like, that one person that, like, everyone knows is, like, cheating on their spouse. And he's like, let me get this straight. I'm not... Joseph's father. No, so sad. I hope the is good. How thanks to you people like Henry Winkler. <laughs> also, another fun fact about Henry Winkler. Because <laughs> I am full of... Did you meet Henry Winkler as a child or something? Chris met Henry Winkler when he was 16 and like asked him for a picture, but Henry Winkler wanted to charge him five bucks or something. Right? Yeah, he was, he fell on hard times. So yeah, so it was 20 for a picture or five for an autograph and Chris up for the autograph. <laughs> times were tough for everyone. It was during the recession. <laughs> and he was 16. <laughs> and like, did you even know who Henry Winkler was? Like, if you're 16? Weird. I used to watch Happy Days at like my grandma's house. Yeah, where's that, where's that, uh, autograph at now? <laughs> that is so funny. He autographed Chris's Razor cell phone. I tried to get, um, oh my god, who's the stealer that was, like, Antonio Brown. I tried to get Antonio Brown during a pregame to autograph my phone, and this dude looked at me like I was fucking nuts. Like, he was just like, no, I'm not autographing your phone. You crazy bitch. You desperate bitch. <laughs> but, yeah. Chris met Henry Winkler. And then, like, yeah, I used to watch Happy Days all the time as a kid. And, uh, I, I dated a guy whose name was Anson, which turned out to be one of the actor's real names. This is like a deep, this is a deep cut, you guys. 
So it turned out to be one of the actor's real names, whose name was Potsy. And one of the famous lines that Ron Howard would always say in Happy Days was, sit on it, Potsy. And when I was dating Anson, everyone thought he was gay. So it was like a joke among my friends to be like, sit on it, Potsy. Because like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys followed that or if that made sense or if Anson's watching, but we all think you're gay. <laughs> I mean, we don't think, we definitely know, and that's fine, but I don't think he knows yet. But yeah, the Fonz thing. There was an episode of um, <coughs> Happy Days, like towards the end, where they were like losing a lot of followers or whatever. Not, they don't know followers, like TV watchers, whatever. Shouldn't come out of the closet, they should. But, uh, they were watching, like, a lot of, uh, or they were losing a lot of TV followers. I can't use my brain. It's, like, getting late. Um, so they did an episode where Fonzie, like, was jet skiing and, like, jumped over a shark on jet skis. And so now that's, like, a term. Like, when, like, in the, in it's, like, an industry term. Like, when you take, like, a show or, like, series too far. They're like, wow, you really jumped the shark on that one. <laughs> jumped the shark, yes! Really jumped the shark on that one. You should know about that one, Idaho, with all your celebs. <laughs> what I was gonna say, the only thing I know about Idaho is those crazy people that, like, killed their kids from Rexburg, Idaho. Chad Daybell and Lori Daybell. I did a video about them on my YouTube channel. I did. We did it outside of Mesa, remember, in the dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool video. It was, like, early on. I think it was, like, the day their bodies, the kids' bodies were found. I don't know, though. True crime is so hard, though, because it's, like, you have to be sensitive, and I have kind of, like, a crude sense of humor. <laughs> so, it doesn't always come across the best. Oh, she's running in her dream. Aw, Jigglypuff's running in her dream, you guys. We took her to Lowe's today for the first time. It was cute. Why? It's not even that late, but it feels so late. I got fired today, you guys. Like, literally fired. I got shit canned. Subscribe to my Patreon. <laughs> or super chat me or fucking something. I don't know. Venmo me. Join my OnlyFans. What did you do? It's a long story, bro. I worked for a sleazeball. You got time? You want me to beat them up? Yeah. His name is Rick Landry. That's the owner of the company. Don't worry. I didn't do anything wrong with kids. I know I mentioned... And I have multiple other jobs, but I just got fired by, like, a total sleazeball today. And I cried. But then my husband made me feel better. Because he was like, who cares? You didn't really want to work there anyways. <laughs> that was like literally what he said. He was like, who cares? I like called the other place that I'm kind of like part-time and was like, hey, I got to come full-time. And they were like, yay! <laughs> so it actually ended up being fine. But like objectively, it's like one of those things that seems bad. You know? I'm a pro streamer now! <laughs> Yeah, I don't need a job anymore. Forget it. I seriously love that Eugenia sent the raid over here. That's like so cute. That means a lot. That was so nice. I love that you guys are checking out the YouTube channel. I made a recent video about Britney Spears. I'm very much into Britney Spears, so... And everything that's going on in her conservatorship. Bandit, you gotta go outside? 
What are you doing, my guy? Oh yeah, bandits are really old blind dog. There's a fly on his back that just like, shook it off. He shook it off. You just ran Luigi. Oh, bro. Luigi's mansion is everything. I am upset. You don't even understand. Like, so we we bought Luigi Mansion 3, Luigi's Mansion 3, when it came out on Halloween. We have a video of that, too. But, and then we streamed it at, like, a hotel in Arizona before we even lived here. And I remember it was just so much fun. Like, I literally dressed up like Luigi and everything. I had, like, a mustache. It was so stupid. But um, we had so much fun. And then once we were done playing it... I just kept wanting to like rebuy it. I was like, let's rebuy it. I love, Lu I was like chasing that Luigi's Mansion high. So then we ended up playing the like DS version. Yeah, or the GameCube version. We we play it on PC, so it's like, I have no idea. But um, we played Luigi's Mansion 2 and that like made my life. Yeah, this is mine and Chris's house. Well, welcome to hell. <laughs> Listen. Hey, why is everything locked? Thanks, Pymatuming. Do you know what Pymatuming is? That's that's a place in Pennsylvania. Yes. <laughs> Is that the one we I don't know. <laughs> the first one? <laughs> oh, yeah. We didn't stream that, we just played it. Huh. Paper Mario or something? There was like a ghost, I swear. Oh, you mean like Luigi's Mansion 1 is the one you couldn't get work? Oh, but 2 you couldn't get to work. Okay. You guys, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I got fired! I'm new here! <laughs> She's under my shirt and she's like making me so hot. I'm, like sweating. Yeah, I guess the one wouldn't run on the emulator or something. I don't know. I don't remember. You should go to the video where I shaved my head. That was a pretty good one. Forgive me! I've forsaken us! Should we call it? Smells like a fart. Dude, I have to pee. I'll go pee. Yeah? You wanna stream while I'll I pee pee? pee. Alright. You wanna talk? No. Chris is so funny, but he doesn't wanna talk. Oh, it does smell like a fart. It just drifted over my way. Which dog do you think it was? Probably Juanita. How old? I'm gonna go through. Okay, so we have like a 16 year old dog that has flies all over him right now. He doesn't even care. There's one on his mouth. <laughs> He's blind. And real reactive. His name's Bandit. He was supposed to be like a rescue that, like, we rescued literally two years ago. And he was supposed to live like a month. <laughs> not like really, but he, he was not supposed to live very long. Um, and he has. He's thriving. Like, he's, his tail is like a bone, and he is like... <laughs> I don't want to say disgusting, but he's very, very old. Um, but he's our guard dog. And he's really... Yeah, no, it's near Erie, which is like north of Pittsburgh. Time of Jimmy is. Oh, it's Pittsburgh. He's winning. You really are. 
And it's funny because you can't hit de like blind, but he still will look you dead in the eye. They really do. Amazon bottle? So I can pee in it? Yeah. You guys, I'm gonna need an Amazon bag so I can take a shit in it. They really do. I love these pups. Smell you dead in the eye. What? At the stealth. Stealth? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on guys, I'm gonna go play me back and shit at his door and just knock and run away. <laughs> die or anything, but they'll come out and they'll squish it with their boot and they'll get, you know, real shitty. <laughs> Can you smell dead in the eye? Oh, because he looks you dead in the eye, I guess. I don't know. They told us he was born without vision. Don't worry, we're demented too. So yeah, Bandit's 16, Maya's like 10 now. We've been saying she's 10 for like years. We're like, Maya's 10, but she's 10 now. Juanita is like 13. Um, Moon is like six. Timo's three. Little Tree's like almost two. And the little baby's only four months. For watching thanks for subbing thanks for following thanks for being my friend thanks for taking my jokes because some people just think I'm mean oh yeah some people can't take jokes I think I'm one of those people to be honest with you I don't know I mean we haven't been divorced yet so. I hate, I feel like if someone would make fun of my mullet right now, I'd be self-conscious about it. I'd be like, I do have a mullet, stupid. <laughs> Apparently mullets are back in there right now. The salon I go to, they like give people mullets all the time and like shag, like it's like the 70s. You know like the lady you make fun of that's like stuck in the 80s? It's like her hairstyle is coming back. <laughs> Billy Mitchell, okay now I have to Google that. Also, I have to pee, so Chris is gonna play for a second. I told Eugenia to Irish step dance in those boots to scare the bugs out. Thank you. I don't mind compliments. <laughs> Still be mean! The Guinness World Record guy? Donkey Kong Ace? <laughs> That's funny. Look at Wicked Slim Shady! Yeah, I have just <laughs> given up. Honestly, it's very hard. That year I went to school photos with orange <laughs> sad. I think we all had that phase where our hair was just like a little more orange than we would have liked. Yeah. Chris met me. I married Chris when he had his frosted orange tips. Sometimes, you know, like, 
what is it? What's the saying? Like, don't frown, because you never know who see you. Smiling. That's actually a bad one. That's like an old man. Smile more, baby girl. <laughs> Oh, it was orange. That's funny. <sighs> I feel like all my school photos were terrible. My mom tried to give me like such good hairstyles, but they were all like, I'm like, what in the fuck even happened that day? Photo, school photo day. It was like my mom didn't try, and then like like right before the school nurse gave me like a little comb and was like, oh god, <laughs> we gotta do something about this. I remember my mom gave me highlights when I was a kid. Like when I was a child, with like the bag that goes over your head, and then and then you like pull strands through. It's very painful. It does not work very good. I'm gonna leave this here because I have to pee.
gotta be put. Yeah, I showed a dog poop. It's that puppy life, you guys. You want to see the pretty side of it. You don't want to see the shit that I have to pick up every day. Did she just show a dog poop? <laughs> so everybody unsubscribes. <laughs> like, that's the thing. Bandit, you gotta go outside? He's like, oh, I smell a poop. By the way, Chris has been playing. Go outside, you guys. Damn, it's still hot outside. Ugh, it's humid. Hi, Chris, everyone says. They like you. Chris is shy. Hi, Twee. Aw, oh, Little Tree's the baby. Yeah, please. I just told you about Henry Winkler. Like... <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Developmental phase. Actually, letting the other dog in the bathroom or in the bedroom, <laughs> in the bathroom, so we can use the toilet. He's very polite. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, it's so cool in the bedroom. How? You guys, no lie, it's still over 100 degrees here. You know what really pissed me off about getting fired? was the fact that I finally, I literally gained so much weight during Corona that I could not fit into the scrubs that my job, for anymore for my job. Scrubs, you guys, fucking scrubs. And I finally just, this whole week, I started wearing them again. I was like so excited. Chris is playing, that's why I'm like. But like, I was so excited to wear them again. And I even took a picture I posted on Facebook. I was like, look at me, you guys, I'm losing weight. Go Aaron, it's your birthday. But they fired me. So now I just wipe my excess my excess makeup off on this fucking scrub. Really? Ramble on, get it girl, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you were like my favorite. This is so funny. Whoa, crazy. <laughs> I know, dude, it's crazy. I'm a good therapist, damn it. Might be losing my medical license. <laughs> so, support me on Patreon. Please! Yeah, what is the deal with this? Whoa, crazy. <laughs> Pie jamming. That sounds hot, actually. That's the kid's name that I kept calling Pie Jamming. The person's name. I call everyone kid. It's hard. It's hard to become a registered therapist. I'm a speech therapist. Which is funny because my English just ain't so good. 
<laughs> I come from the hills of Appalachia. I really do. <sighs> yeah, I mostly deal with like pediatric like kids. It's kind of fun. Yeah, like stroke victims and stuff. It's really sad. And like certain diagnoses. Like the ones where you go backwards, you know. MS. Cerebral palsy. Fibrosis. Is that the one? Wait. I don't think I know that one. I was thinking of the one. Is that the one awaken like awakenings? Oh, I was thinking of um a completely different movie. A completely different movie. There's actually a book, it's called My Stroke of Insight, and it's about um she's a neurologist. Her name's Joe Colty Taylor. Robert De Niro. Aww. Oh my god, that sounds like such a good movie! He said, it's a weird one. Dude, I like that. And I feel like it has like the early like 90s vibe. Okay, he says, it's flawless with Robert De Niro and Philip Seymour Hoffman. It's a cop who basically loses his mind, I guess. He says it's a weird one. He has to go to speech therapy and stuff and is just like this super hard inner city cop who's not really PC. And then his drag queen neighbor basically is the one to coddle him back to hell. And then he was like, if you work in mental health, check out. It's so annoying to me. But yeah, I feel like we'll watch it tonight after the stream for sure. Flawless. I feel like I've heard of it, but you should watch the movie. It's called Awakening. And I mean, it's not, it doesn't sound as interesting. I mean, it does kind of sound, it's interesting in its own way. It's about these people who all were like had Parkinson's patients and they treated them with like a certain drug. So they had a month of clarity where they all like awoke. It was awakening. And I think like, I want to say Robert De Niro's in it. Um, who's the one? Robin Williams? Honor by a drag queen sounds like a service. Honey? <laughs> Check out my OnlyFans, okay? <laughs> oh, what is it called? Flawless. I'm still stuck on the Billy Mitchell thing. <laughs> it just says American player. Like, it doesn't say, like, what he is. Oh, video game player and restaurateur. Golden age of arcade games. Wow. Me too. You seem like a nice soul. <laughs> Donkey Kong factory director. What's going on? Okay, flawless. <laughs> I bet like we could watch it on some service or Chris can download it. From um Google sources. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've never seen this before. Okay, hold on. Maybe this is different. Okay, there's two different flawlesses. So there's one that has Demi Moore in it and Michael Caine. You know, the old ether huffing doctor from Cider House Rose. His voice sounds just like these. <laughs> and Demi Moore, like the hottie from the 90s. She's still hot now. But then flawless. Yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman. 
Oh my gosh, it's Philip Seymour Hoffman as the drag queen. I love it. I'm gonna cry just looking at like the thing for it because Philip Seymour Hoffman died. I'm like a huge, not huge Philip Seymour Hoffman fan, but I really like the Hunger Games. And he died like during the making of the last one and it was so sad. And prior to him dying, I watched a movie that he was in where he was worst impression ever. <laughs> Wait, well, what impression did I just do with my Michael Caine? <laughs> that was a spot on Michael Caine impression. Oh my god, my British voice. Yeah, there's nobody British in here, right? So nobody's gonna know if it's terrible or not, right? So I don't even know what or how this came about, but like, I just decided one day that there was a character that I am now that is a British orphan. And then she comes from the, the suburbs of England. And she, she, she grew up in an orphanage until it burned down and her parents both died of syphilis. <laughs> he said, me, I'm British. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's me. It's Michael Caine again. And I'm here to say I'm sorry. Baby, does that make you Randy? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried. I really like Adele. No romance without finance. <sighs> I am offended. <laughs> wow, that's what it took? Hmm. Well, you know what? On that note. Michael Caine is here. You don't need to be offended. I've brought my ether. We can all huff it together and then be an abortion doctor in the cider house. <laughs> <laughs> that is like my favorite reference is the cider house. Rules. I honestly do not really even know the movie. All I know about it is that Michael Caine performs abortions. Stop showing me your sex voice. <laughs> Now I'm offended. <laughs> I'm dead. This is such a fun stream. <laughs> Whatever, Matt LeBlanc. Stone nipple. I bet you say croissant. Listen. That's really all I know. Stop showing me your sex toys. Excuse me, what other sex toys have I shown you? <laughs> Stop something. What, you being Matt LeBlanc? Oh, croissant? <laughs> Matt LeBlanc eating croissants with Michael Caine. <laughs> I don't know why I like grab the microphone like this every time. I do a lot of terrible impressions, so don't be worried. There's like, that's not the only bad impression. I do a really bad Christopher Walken. Okay, he's like, he's like, Honestly, you guys, I used to be so into doing voices. Like when I was a kid, I would watch TV, like basically raised by TV. And so like I would repeat like what I would hear on TV, like different like accents and stuff. And so I'm really good at like hearing and understanding accents. Am I being bullied? No, of course not, dear. Of course not, dear. We're here for you. Here, huff this, huff this ether. You feel a little better. 
Also, there's a million dollars hidden in a locker. And you should have bought a squirrel. I don't know if you saw that movie, but... Anyway, so I used to be really into, like, doing voices and stuff. And I'm kind of, like, shy about it. But I do it in front of Chris all the time. Like, I swear, I'm just, like, always making, like, weird voices. And honestly, one of the things I want to do is get into voice acting. John DiMaggio is a big... Uh, inspiration to the, do the both of us, mainly Chris, and then, you know, me by default. We love Adventure Time. And Bender. Say it! <laughs> like John DiMaggio's here. He lives in Palm Springs, actually, and one time we drove past his house. We stalked him. I think that's stalking. <laughs> Like, we knew he was there, too, because he was, like, posting on Instagram and stuff. And I was like, why do we just go, like, knock on his door? And Chris is like, that is literally insane. <laughs> like, we could not do that. But Palm Springs is small. It's, like, a small town. I think he'd be flattered. Maybe we brought him, like, pears and, like, pretended like we were his, like, neighbor or something. <laughs> ah, here's an apple brown bitty. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need me for spaghetti and meatballs. <sighs> yeah, I do a really offensive like Chinese, Korean, Japanese. <laughs> Japanese is probably my favorite because it's <gasps> very. <gasps> I've been trying to learn different languages. A lot of my clients, they speak Spanish, so like, I know a little bit of Spanish. But then, some either me a curveball and some of them speak Portuguese. And I'm like, como vese ese? And they're like, bomb. Abigado? And I'd be like, que? Okay. Carol King and people like Henry Winkler. <laughs> you guys are still watching. Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel or follow or whatever. I don't really know the difference. But I'm into it. I'm getting tired. Yeah, it's like 12 30. It's 12 30 here. My goodness. I think the only people here are time of tuning and Matt LeBlanc. No, there are quite a few people watching. Thanks for watching, you guys. Start following. We're giving away a PS5 on our YouTube. My husband's playing right now because I'm too tired. I thought you were trying to say something like real deep. The voices of the foes. They rattle within the ceiling. Do you hear the thundering heartbeat beneath the, the floorboard? You know what I'm talking about? The telltale heart? That story? Did you read nothing in high school? Oh, I'm sorry. Chris can't read good. <laughs> Yeah, definitely save. That was really cool. Yeah, that was really cool that Eugenia sent you guys over. Um, I honestly have been watching her videos for a while, and it's like, was really weird to interact with her today, you know? Because it, it made it like real. It's like she's like a famous YouTuber, you know? So that was really cool. Pretty humbling. I love that you guys are here and super funny. when he's talking about sermons or something. He's in Idaho. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to Salt Lake City next week. Hey. 
<laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I love that I didn't even have to say anything. Oh, wait, no, I'm not in Idaho. Oh. Oh, he said he was English or something. Ah, LeBlanc. Were you lying to me, Michael Caine? <laughs> I'm so offended. <laughs> Where are you? That's okay, I'm searching her IP right now. Yep. It's blue, I got the blue one. Whatever, pie jamming. Oh my god, you guys. I wish I had an OnlyFans. I made a Twitter and then I was telling people that I was just looking for someone to give me money. Like, me and my husband made it. A oh, Tinder, we made a Tinder. And then we were telling people that we were just like looking for a sugar daddy, but then we got banned. <laughs> and then I got fired! <laughs> Tinder's for true love. Thanks for watching Stone Le Bleu, Le Bleu, The Fountain Blue. Start my day. I'll watch your YouTube later. Thanks for checking out the YouTube too. Maybe I will send it to Eugenia. That kind of would be cool, huh? I don't want it just to fall on the wayside and become one of her weird gift floats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't gang out. Right -o. Chip chip cheerio! <laughs> I'm sorry, goodbye. <laughs> oh, this is what he was talking about. Where is Pie Jam? Can you tell us? <sighs> is that, could it be? Bowser? <laughs> oh, cool. From. This could be another okay girl go off. Literally, like, ah, uh, the weekend. He's mad. But, <laughs> I'm kidding, he's not. Who did, Eugenia? Aww. Are you serious? That is seriously so sad. Yeah. Yeah, definitely too good of a deal. Oh, that makes you really sad. What an asshole. Oh, did she did she Yeah. Yeah, that's what Kristen said. Yeah, that's what they said like it was for her one of her relatives. That sucks, though. Yeah. People are gonna do it, seriously. People are just opportunists. Does she have, like, a P.O. box or something? We should send it to her. I feel like it'd be worth it. Does she want a P.S.? Or she just wants to give it to her family member, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we actually got two of them today. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me? Oh. Uh. Neg! 
girl. Oh, yeah, but the Drake thing, dude, I, like, from probably, like, 2008 until 2018, like, the only genre that I listen to is Drake. <laughs> Drake is everything. And then he got that stripper pregnant, and it just all went downhill, and he became angry, and now he's just a stupid baby daddy, and, like, he became exactly what he didn't want to become. Come on, Drake, you're better than that. I know. I feel like she did the tricky booster method. Totally. You think Drake is gonna just like blow his million dollar wad in someone? <laughs> That's the baby. <laughs> no, I think he like loves his baby and stuff. I don't really know. I like stopped watching him and stuff. I actually really like the one song with him and Rick Ross. Like, when I die, put my money in the grave. <laughs> but it was really angry. And then there's like a new album recently, I think. But anyways, yeah, I know where Drake's from. I've been to Niagara Falls many times in my life. I'm from Pennsylvania, so. Close to Erie. I said Pittsburgh, but I'm from the fucking boonies. Chris is from Indiana. <laughs> he just yelled from the bathroom. Don't tell him. I am not ready for this. I can't. Okay. Aw. It's like Lady Link. I'm not leaving my living quarters anytime soon, so don't worry. I think we're about to go to sleep. I'm like really surprisingly tired. It's been a long, stressful day for me. Because <laughs> I had to work. Like, I worked in the morning, and then they sent me an email at like noon, and they were like, hey, we're terminating your contract. And like, every, all like, 70 sessions you've done for us we're not paying you for like what the fuck i literally contacted a lawyer shouldn't be talking about this on the stream <sighs> just hard not to get upset yeah i bet is it like snowing where you live is it dark outside? <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it like in some parts of Canada it stays real dark? I know not where Drake's from. Because he's from the... The Six? <laughs> Got it from... Hawk down here. Oh, 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 so you're saying it's, like, good that I'm sharing. <laughs> I guess so. <sighs> it's frustrating. It is. It's better to talk about things than just not. Because I felt real shitty about it today. I felt like such a loser, and I was, like, texting my husband, and he's like, we'll talk about it when you come home. And I was like, oh, God, I'm going to get fired again. <laughs> Here comes the divorce. But he was like, who cares? Don't worry about it. Like, that guy was a sleazeball anyways. So... I don't know, it's kind of a learning experience, I guess. Yeah, I got a, a good, no, a great, yeah, a good husband. <laughs> so what, did you beat the game? Is this over now? You guys, I have such a short attention span. Chris usually does the streams. Like, I'll play certain parts, but, like, unless I'm, like, super into a game. Like, probably Skyward Sword I'll be into. But I'm going to be gone the week it comes out, so Chris is actually going to stream it. So you guys better watch. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule, you know, Linda's got a country. And her baby boy. I thought that was, like, about us. Like, baby man. 
I like it. You can tell you're our kind of people, man. Everything is just kind of like launching us forward. I guess some thick eyeballs. Well, you know, that's like the thing of 2020. Yeah, but that's like the look of 2020. It's all about the brows. I remember getting like real self-conscious about my eyebrows at one time. Who used to pluck them real thin. They're kind of thicker now, but like whenever I was younger, it was cool to like have them like super, super thin. I love you. They for real are obsessed with birds. There's something about the birds. Didn't we play the old Skyward Sword? I swear we did, and we like met the old creepy Santa owl. He's like, secretly, I'm Zelda's dad. What one was that? And then he gave us the wind kite. Oh, that was, uh... <laughs> Every Zelda game, they're obsessed with birds. They really are. And remember the real mean pirate bird? Was that the same one? Like the mean old pirate bird named Screech. She was like, hey kid, your family's dead, get over it. Oh, that, was, that, was, that was just a pirate. <laughs> that was on Wind Waker. <laughs> We've done a lot of old Zelda streams. You really have to check out the YouTube channel. They're good too. Cause you can probably hear Chris a lot better in some of the older streams. He's sitting pretty far away from me. You haven't played either of them. You should look at our playthroughs. Yeah, Wind Waker is good. It's really pretty. Heh. 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 Chris is like. Oh, the roll hat. Roll. You go faster, speed run, go! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Seven years? Jeez, they really let that thing go to shit. Yo, I got Facebook memories that pop up that were seven years ago. I'm wearing, like, the same t-shirt. <laughs> How the fuck they let this happen? <laughs> The screaming? Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what they do. Did you get Mountain Dew? I think that... I'm tired because I keep forgetting to blink. <laughs> I'm low-key obsessed with owls in video games, though, too. Like, I love blathers on Animal Crossing. And, um... <laughs> Hooey! From Twilight Sparkle! <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's something one of my kids said that I'll never see again because I got chick can today! <laughs> And honestly, my company threatened that if I take any of the kids that I work with to my other agency, that they'll fucking sue me. Well, you have professional liability. And I have professional liability insurance, so I like to see them motherfuckers try. <laughs> Are named after birds. Also, they just look like birds. <laughs> Mm. 
Dude, all of them blend together for me. I keep thinking of like the big tree that was just filled with birds and we had to go find that brat and give him the note. Remember that one? <laughs> I love how I describe the video games. We should have just me reviewing the video games. Oh yeah, this is when we had to find that fucking brat and everybody looked like a bird and they wouldn't help me find my way. <laughs> It is fucking hot out here. It's on in there. It's like so cold in the bedroom. I think it's just because we're close to the window. I think it's and in these lights. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my god, I can like feel it already. Really? Dude, we need a ceiling fan in here. <gasps> or like a tower fan. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, a tower fan would be nice. Check out my Amazon wish list. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's full of dildos. <laughs> he shits out sand, you pervert! He's supposed to teach kids about how to go potty. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Why is it called Ocarina of Time? Why isn't it called Sword of Time? <laughs> what? Why are they so hard for ocarinas on this game? I've never even heard of an ocarina. <laughs> what was the very first one that we played? I really like that one. Yeah, like the original one. We played the very original Link's Awakening, and I actually really liked that one. It reminded me of like being a little kid and like playing games at my friends' houses. Ocarina is sort of like a recorder. Oh, that that great instrument that we had to learn in like fourth grade that we all still know how to play. <laughs> Dude, I'm so hot because I'm in such a pile of dogs. Hey, tree! Why don't you be nice to him? Come here, tree. Yeah, these dudes are all ripped. Fuck, Mary, kill, quick! <laughs> Yeah, I had never heard of an ocarina until this. Even like the other ones that were in when or Link's Awakening. There was like a All bunch ones, of yeah, weird like, like old <laughs> The dogs don't even know what to do. They're like, why are you guys out here so late? <laughs> when there's, do you not see this pile that's happening right here? Did she just show a dog poop? <laughs> Such a good stream. They still teach kids how to play recorders, but now they also like. <laughs> okay, Prisma, take it easy. <laughs> now they also will try to like teach them like violin and stuff. And like one of my, a couple of my friends have kids that are like nine or like seven. And um, I one of them literally put a video of like all like a whole class of seven year olds on stage playing the violin. <laughs> And it was like just as terrible as you would imagine, but it was really cute. Like they all looked really cute and really proud, but it was just like terrible. I have no idea even what song they'd be playing. Like, it was so terrible. Come on, Pimo, you coming up? You gonna come up? Come on. Come on. This is our little seizure puppy. He can't really do anything for himself, so we have to encourage him to get on the couch. And then I pull him up. He's so fat because he's on the barbiturates. Look at his face. Oh, he's so sweet. His name's Prismo. Like Adventure Time. 
I think he just peed on the floor. I felt a little dribble. We're living that dog life. <gasps> no way! It looks just like him! Guys, we should see if like another channel will rate us. I'm gonna go look for someone else who's playing Ocarina of Time. Okay, what do you think I should look for? Someone who's ending? How do I even do that? Oh, that's a good idea. Like Andy Milanakis. He's still alive. <laughs> do you guys remember that show? Well, Chris didn't watch TV. He didn't have cable in Indiana. All he had was corn. <laughs> Who? Andy Milanakis. A couple Greek plates. Oh, like he just eats. Oh, he's in Greece. Hey. Hey. Boise. Oh, and you're not in Idaho. Hey. Hey. Yeah, it was a weird stream. Hey. Weird. Channels recommended for you. Reacting to JCS. Oh, dude, I love JCS. All these people have a lot of people. We don't really have anybody left. <laughs> Should we raid somebody? Okay, okay. Built to spill? Weren't you just talking about them for some reason? Why? This literally, like, I'm not even kidding you. Chris and I were just talking about built to spill because they're kind of like, what was it that you were telling me that they're like underground and we were like listening to one of their songs? And they're like, what were you telling me? What's that? Like a radio show. Yeah. Oh, he watched a video of them on like a local radio program. But that's really funny. Thanks, farts that smell good. <laughs> We're trying to find a channel to raid. My husband's playing, if you can see my fingers. I'm on my phone trying to find a channel to play. I'm looking up more Ocarina of Time people. Do I click channels? Did you say butter pool? Oh, somebody has one viewer. Yeah, we have to find somebody who's like streaming. First playthrough. Oh, this guy has 71. Oh, I like Tokyo Boy. Oh, he's doing a randomizer. I want to find a girl.
You guys are so cute. Alright. What is the randomizer for? <gasps> Judith! Oh wait, I think that's a boy. I think so. I'm not sexist, I'm just like a man-hater. <laughs> oh, this is a boy, but he has a girl name. And a sexy, like, avatar. To trick people. Nobody likes that. <laughs> this guy just has like Garfield as his picture. <laughs> oh, maybe we should do it to somebody who has like a decent amount because then they would follow us back. <laughs> Okay, what do you guys think? Somebody who has, like, no viewers? Or somebody who has, like, 70 is, like, the most? That's me! Jake Frostwitch. Come on. All right, you guys, let's raid Aaron Face's channel. <laughs> She's got 40 years. How did Eugenia do a poll? Or even do like a different uh, game. Oh, like, um, <gasps> Luigi's Mansion. Please. Found it. Yeah. Let's go blazing. English, LGBTQIA plus gay, queer, arena, mode campaign. <laughs> He's like, he got it all, baby. Like seven? Oh, this one? Twitch. I'm celebrating a fire today. Look at my tight lips. They are not happy. Are you guys ready for a jump scare? Y'all see Leprechaun say hell yeah! All 
All right, we're doing it. Thanks for watching, you guys. You're the best. This has been a really fun stream. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Remember to stay weird because the truth, it's out there. Baba. <laughs> Is it going?